Blessings to you, family. I hope you are doing good. I wanted to share with you a quick word. I don't want to take a lot of your time. I am very exhausted today. I travel, I've been traveling since last week, nonstop. And yesterday I just traveled from Houston. I got up 3.30 in the morning, drove to the Houston airport, fly, uh, flew from Houston, came to Oakland, drove three hours, car, uh, three hours car to the place where I was supposed to interview my guest. And then from there I interviewed, wrapped things up, had a food, quick food to grab. And then from there, I rushed to come to Los Angeles, LA. It took five hours to get here, altogether six hours with the traffic and everything. And I feel right now exhausted. Listen, I wanna share with you, everything changing drastically. And one thing is not changed. Every single thing around you is changing drastically and only one thing is remain and it's unchangeable. People might ask me, what is that? Because things around us is constantly, you see political, you see spiritual, you see church, you see people, they're feeling everything changing drastically. People even Family is turning on each other. Everything is changing. And everything is being exhausted so far and so fast. Because people are losing patience. Crime is increasing. People are not moving and loving and being honest the way they supposed used to be. Everybody is looking for their own good and that is why whether it's in political whether it's in person backstabbing uh, ladder climbing and uh, so many things are you know not the way it's supposed to be but i want to encourage you even though the things around you in a media politically spiritually church-wise people changing but one thing, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ, is never change. It is the same gospel that brings the good news, brings healing to those who are persecuted, who are, de uh, you know, decept deceived, who are suffering because of the sin. But the gospel, when you bring them to the gospel, it will heal those. You might be struggling right now. You might have pain. You might have going through tough time. Today I met a lady at, um, we were traveling to LA. So she was like, we, we were, no, I think before actually we were traveling to, uh, you know, from Oakland airport, we were going to our guest place. She was like, hey, can you, what do you do? I told her, you know, we work for Christian television. She goes like, wow, that's awesome. Can you put me on your prayer chain? Her name was Svita. She said, please put me on your prayer chain. So she, uh, I started writing down. So she said she have a neck pain, back pain, and also she's looking for a soulmate. Can you pray f uh, for me? I was like, we will pray for her. So that's what I'm saying. People are constantly seeking healing soulmate but when you accept jesus christ as your lord and savior you have lack nothing you will be blessed maybe you're struggling financially physically um you know you have pain in your body or maybe you're struggling with marriage or children but i have a word for you god have not forgotten about you god not have forgotten about you he loves you where you are and he always will call you to him so if you repent with all your heart and come to Jesus Christ your sin will be forgiven 
and you will come closer to Jesus Christ. God bless you guys. Love you in Christ. Stay safe and happy. Have a good day.